you see it in the playfulness of Caribbean eyes, through the genuine happiness of our smiles. It's there in the unique way we express ourselves, in the color of our cultures, in the rich flavor of our cuisine, and in the pulse of our people. So, however far you may roam, this is home. This is Caribbean Airlines, the warmth of the islands. Okay, we're with Chris Brown. Chris, talk to us a little bit about 2014. How has it been so far? And what are some of your main objectives? Well, so far, so good. You know, uh, God has been good to me, and um, I can't complain. You know, uh, start off the season pretty good, and I hope to end it on a pretty good note. Uh, but uh, so far, so good. It's been going great. You're here now at Pen Release, but of course, this I assume will just be a warm up for what you guys would want to achieve in, in, in Bahamas next month Oregon, definitely um, it's definitely um, for us a place for us to come out and test to see where we all at uh, so far so good everybody's been you know running pretty well um, we're just looking to come out today and see where we are and 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 go for go from the gun 2012 was the biggest year where four by four was concerned for bahamas going into nasa now next month do you think your team will be under any pressure to make sure that you deliver in front of your home fans well, pressure is something that we look forward to, especially myself. So um, we look forward, we welcome pressure, you know. Um, but I know we have the home territory to defend and um, Bahamas going to be looking for us to really deliver. So we definitely got a job on our hand to go out there and represent, especially because we home. And so we're looking forward to testing the waters here and see where we are and knowing the adjustments and whatever correction we need to make before we get home. So this is definitely a, a, a stepping stone for us before we get home. You spoke about pressure and you yourself know how to handle pressure. What about the other guys? They, they know how to handle pressure as long as I'm inside the game. Um, and each, of the, each, each guy knows their job and they've been here before. So um, I think we all veterans under pressure. So I think they, they know what they got to do and they know what we need to come up with the victory. Last year, you had the Chris Brown Invitational, had to cancel this year because of problems, not problems with the stadium, but uh, renovation work just to prepare for the World Relays. How important is this meet, the World Relays, for the people of Bahamas? Well, you know, canceling my event was a disappointment, but at the same time, I still look at it as a blessing because I was able to bring the country home a silver medal with a personal best in my career. So uh, that was the next goal that I achieved. Um, the World Relays coming to Bahamas, you know, I think that it's very, um, it's, a, it's basically a gift for us, you know, um, and I think that it, the Bahamas can benefit of it a whole lot because this is one of the first times hosting a world-class major competition in the Bahamas so with this event being in the Bahamas I think it'll definitely benefit and it'll also encourage the younger generation to know that you can host major events and we could go out there and show the world what we could produce. From a, from, from a standpoint of a very experienced athlete do you think Bahamas is ready to host this major major championship? Well if they're not ready, they better be ready now because we got a less than 30 days away. So, uh, but I think they're ready, and I believe that the fans are ready and hype. And you know, track and field is on one of our number one sports in the country. So, everybody's looking forward to it, and um, you know, we just got to go out there and put on our best show. Thank you very much. Thank you.